Hey fellas, the NHS here, right back for another LEGO Marvel Thor Love and Thunder 2022 set news review for you guys. And this time, I'm going to show you guys a new set that just leaked for the lineup. And that is the official $20 Thor Love and Thunder set picture itself. And this set is called Attack on New Asgard. It's at 76207. It is 7 plus it has 159 pieces and 3 minifigures. And this set is going to release on April 26, 2022 along with the GOAT boat. And this set will cost 20 US dollars here in North America and around the world for the lineup. And honestly you guys, this set is a bunch of crap to me. So yeah, this set sucks in my opinion. And I'll tell you why. Because the build... Is not that interesting. And to me, we're seriously getting another plant creature. Well, this set doesn't have anything from New Asgard. It's just this only one giant plant monster thingy that I believe we're going to see this thing in the movie. Because like I said before, the trailer hasn't even dropped yet because the movie has been delayed like a couple of times since I did say that before with the other set, which is that $50 goat boat set. And yes, this set, it doesn't interest me. It doesn't interest me at all in my opinion. We do get the same three repeated characters from that other set that just revealed like in a couple of weeks ago. And yes, this is disappointing. We do get the same new versions of Thor right here. Well, we do get a new Thor minifigure right here that has the brand new Stormbreaker. Well, I thought that Stormbreaker was the same look for the 2018 version, but nope, I was wrong. It's a brand new update look that Lego kind of didn't fix in my opinion. Well, it is almost movie accurate in my opinion, but still. But the legs, torso, and face printing and the new hair piece is the same one. At least the hair piece does fits him in my opinion which is pretty cool looking and he has the same red four plus style capes right there that are one holding right there if we do get the same jane foster door right here once again that has mjolnir and the same toes leg and torso pretty right there and underneath the helmet she has the same face print as black widows that is not the likeness to natalie portman at all which is a bunch of crap in my opinion well, I wish they could fix that up too to make it more Natalie Portman likeness right there underneath that hair and helmet combo. And we do get the same version of Gord the God Butcher, which is Christian Bill's character from the movie. So same look, but we'll see how this look of him turns out in the film right here. Hopefully we'll get that trailer soon. And he has the same black sword once again right here, which is still the same one right here. And as for the plant creature, what the heck is this thing? So, yeah, what even is this monster? Well, yeah, so like I said, this set is still 100% of a disappointment because this set is called Attack on New Asgard, but there isn't any builds from New Asgard. Well, by the way, I still love the background for the packaging art design right there of New Asgard right there which is really nice. We have some homes right there, but still no builds for New Asgard. We've seen the background right here, but the only build in this set is this plant monster thingy that probably will show up in the movie. Well, the bottom base of this thing reminds me of the one from Spider-Man No Way Home in that $40 Sanctum Workshop set from last year. And also the arms too. And same thing with the stickers on the left and right arm that are printed stickers, but still not 100% sure because this set was leaked from a person that found this at a Canadian airport from Instagram. So, yeah, this is a leaked picture right there. Well, we will get official pictures for this set sooner or later. And yes, we have the vines right there, six vines for the legs right there, three legs for the side of it will, yeah, three legs for each side for the left and right side of the monster. And they gave it some black bat chima wings as like the side of the, of the head right there. And I believe the mouth is printed or the, or a sticker right there, but we'll see. And maybe 
the eyes are, but we'll see how this turns out. But still, I prefer the Goat Boat set the most because that set is way better than this Haunted Junk right there. But since it, we do get the same three repeated characters that are exclusive to that Goat Boat $50 set, well, if you guys wanted the Goat Boat, you can't get them because that set has all of the characters from the movie, which is Valkyrie, Gorg, Korg, Thor, Jane Foster, Thor right there. Yeah, those characters from that other set. So this is the second to last Thor Love and Thunder set right there. Well, I'll see if I'm going to buy this. Well, I usually collect Legos. And since that is my thing, since I like Marvel a lot. But since this is part of the movie, since hopefully we'll get that trailer soon. But I'll see if I will give this a shot. Well, I know this set sucks because there isn't anything for new asgard because the name of the set is called attack on new asgard but there isn't any we only get this one monster build in this set with three repeated characters from that 50 dollars set but anyways if you guys wanted this set because this set does cost 20 bucks because this is the cheapest way to get these three characters from that goat boat set but it is what it is well i just don't know but i'll see if i get this because this set and the Go Boat along with it does come out on my mom's birthday, which is April 26th. So I'll try to give this set a shot, but if not, I'll probably just skip over it to buy the Go Boat instead because it has all the characters, including these ones. Well, the creature itself has articulation on the ball joints for the arms, the little legs, and even the head right there. But we'll see how this thing turns out in the movie. But it is what it is in my opinion. But that is the whole news video for this new set that just leaked already. But we will get official images. Yeah, the HD images for this set. But it is what it is right here for the lineup. But still, I'll see if I give it a chance. If you guys wanted to give it a chance or pass on, well, skip over it since it has the same three characters. But at least this is the cheapest way to get Thor jane foster and gore right there so yeah still not a fan of this set but it is what it is right here for the lineup so nothing much to say but that is all we've gotten so far for the lineup so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that notification bell the save button link in the description and hulk smash that comment section down below and tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup i'll see you later alligator